Hi, how are you today? Hello. Hello, hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see you today. Hi, hello, hello, hello. Good evening, hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hola, hola. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Yes, teacher. Okay. okay. I hear you. Okay, thank you. Teacher, I'm going to my house. Mm -hmm. And then hear you in this moment. Okay, you're driving right now. I understand. How are you today? How are you? Great, great. How was your day? Did you have a nice day? Yes. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Vamos a ver cómo estamos por ahí. No los oigo. Están caminando, están todavía de viaje. How are you doing? Uh -huh. Are you still on the way? Are you still on the way? Ready in the house. Oh, you are ready up. That's great. That's great. Okay. Bueno. Nice to see you then. I'm glad to see that you are at home and that you are we can say resting, right? For a while. Okay. Well, I'm going to share the screen with you. See. Oh, let's go to the attendance first. See how many are here. Nice, nice. Okay, tell me present, right? As I call you, tell me present. Nineteenth day. Um, Abner Adoni, Alexa, Alexa, Ana Luisa, Andrei, present teacher, Angie, 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 Adeli. Carly, Erling, I'm here, teacher. Irma Noemi, Carla Milena, present, teacher. Maria, present, teacher. 
Marta. Present teacher. Mauricio. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Nancy Katia. Present teacher. Oscar. Silvia Evelyn. Present teacher. Ursula. William. Present teacher. Hmm? Well, I had two, four, six, eight, ten people in class. Who didn't say present? Who didn't? Okay, well, this is our class number 16. We're running the last week of the course. We're about to finish, right? We can't we finish this coming Friday. Um remember, remember that. Uh, by the end, it is very important that you have the platform complete, right? Complete, complete, up to unit four and the final exam. Yes. Um. What I was checking here when I collected the last grades of you. I still have some people that haven't done a unit number three. Alexa, Alexa, no here. Hmm. Alexa, Alexa, no, that I'm not here, Alex. Um. André, ¿cómo vamos? Ana Luisa. Oscar. Mauricio. You were at 40 when I collected this, the scores. Did you finish? Yes. Finish, finish on the weekend. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Writing in house. Yeah, no, but my question is if you finished the platform on the weekend. Oh, um, sorry. Um, casi termino, teacher. Poco me falta. Okay, be sure that you finish today. At the end, I'm going to update the list, right? And uh, let's see, Erling, too. When I collected the scores, you were at 36% of unit three. You should be finished, right? Unit three should be done. Sylvia, missing, still missing some part. Uh, vaya, just remember, chicos. Esta es la última semana. Y yo recojo notas viernes, ¿verdad? Para el viernes, si usted se me ha atrasado con alguna cosa, ya la unidad 2 veo que ya, ya se pusieron al día. Eh, solo a Abner, a Doni y, y Miguel, pero me imagino que Miguel ya no siguió. Y la unidad 2 y si la unidad 3 si, si tengo varios espacios. Abner, a Doni, a Alex. Eh, Ana Luisa está bien baja André también con 20% Erling 36 
Carla Milena, 44, Mauricio con 40, y tengo Oscar con cero, no me ha hecho nada, y Silvia sí, Elena con sí. el 56%. ¿Verdad? Espero yo que, que en el fin de semana ustedes hayan logrado avanzar algo, y si no, pues terminen la hoy para poder dejar listo, completa unidad 3, ¿verdad? Porque ya vamos de bajada, esta es la última semana y yo viernes en la noche recojo la, la unidad 4 y el examen final, ¿verdad? Entonces asegúrense, asegúrense que están actualizados hasta allí, hasta allí, hasta la unidad número 4, ¿de acuerdo? Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. No le entendí, André. Es que se oye como robotito. Que por André no te preocupes, teacher. Eh, apenas pueda, yo termino. Creo que el jueves ya me queda tiempito, entonces daré el jueves. Ok, ok. Vaya, asegúrense sí que viernes ya están listos, ¿verdad? Cualquier cosa que tengan atrasado, que viernes estén completitos. Porque eh, lo otro es esto, que acuérdense que ahorita es unidad 4 y examen final, ¿verdad? No me van a dejar el examen final. Porque valen más el examen de medio curso y el examen final valen bastantito, ¿verdad? Son prácticamente el 50% del curso y el otro 50% en las otras tareas, ¿verdad? Entonces, asegúrense que, que, que lo completan. Eh, una cosa con respecto al examen final, este igual que el midterm. ¿Se acuerdan que el midterm, la unidad es, bueno, la parte 1 y parte 2 eran de la unidad 1? Y la parte 3 y 4 eran de la unidad 2. Aquí pasa igual, ¿verdad? La, la parte 1 y 2 del examen final son de la unidad 3. Y la parte 3 y 4 son de la unidad 4. Entonces, eso significa que ustedes pueden perfectamente trabajar el examen final, ¿verdad? Ya, o sea, las primeras dos partes, eh, aunque no hayamos terminado la unidad 4, porque ya terminamos la 3 y que eso es prácticamente de allí de la unidad 3, ¿verdad? Así el viernes no se revela ni ustedes ni yo, ¿verdad? Sino que estamos todos completos. Ok, bueno, ahí está, ya, ese era el comercial de la platform. Anybody else connected after I call you? No, nobody. Nobody, no, ¿verdad? Seguimos siendo tres. Ok, bueno. Sí. I'm sharing. Ok, here. The presentation check. As I said before, this is our video conference number 16. And today we're talking about accounting. That's accounting vocabulary, the one we had for today. And a... Uh, As talking about accounting, we're going to have a conversation of you at the bank, right? At the bank, opening a bank account. So you will be practicing that so you can see, right, to learn how to open a bank account. And the objective for today's participants will be able to write adjectives about objects and people related to accounting, but also uh, by also writing some sentences correctly. So we're going to be talking about accounting vocabulary and we will be using or talking about adjectives, right? We will be using so and so to describe the things 
right? Okay. Check. Here we have a conversation uh, about the past. Check. Bueno, this is not a conversation. The sentence is about the past. We have the uh, regular verbs. Remember the pronunciation of regular verbs that we were saying or that we were practicing last week, right? Okay, repeat after me. I washed my car yesterday afternoon. I washed, I my, washed car. my car. I washed my yes. car yesterday, I washed my car yesterday afternoon. afternoon. Betty cleaned the table a few minutes ago. <laughs> Betty the cleaned clean the table of minus hours. Table. 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 Uh -huh. table. Okay. Yeah, the table. cleaned the table a few minutes ago. Betty cleaned the table a few minutes ago. Sonia showed me some funny pictures a few minutes ago. Silvia, la voy a dejar en mute. Okay. Sonia showed me some funny pictures a few minutes ago. Sonia showed me some funny pictures a few minutes ago. Jack created a new line of clothes for all people. Jack created a new line of clothes for all people. people. The Aiden. The Aiden. The Aiden. The Aiden. The Aiden. Yes. Aiden. Jack created a new line of clothes for all people. Jack created a new line of gloves uh, for all people. Carlos needed to see you a few minutes ago. Carlos needed Carlos to needed see you, you a few minutes ago. Jesse planned to wait for you after work. Jesse planned to wait for you after work. Charlie commented that he felt so frustrated at work. Charlie commented, Charlie commented that he felt so at work. Edward visited Sylvia at her apartment yesterday. Edward visited Edward Sylvia at her, her apartment, apartment yesterday. yesterday. They protested about the high prices of food. Mm. Mm. They protested about the high prices of food. They protested about the high prices of food. We liked the new ideas adopted by our general manager. We like the new ideas adopted by our general manager. Light. 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 Ideas. Light. Ideas. 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 We like the ideas. Yeah. We liked the new ideas we adopted like by, the our new manager, ideas adopted. by our general yeah. manager. Our general, general manager. General manager. General manager. Okay. General manager. Manager. Okay. Nice, nice. Now I want volunteers to say the sentences for me. Mauricio, say number one. Okay. I wet my car yesterday afternoon. Sylvia, number two. Hello. Number two. Betty cleaned the table. A few minu minutes ago. Number three, Nancy. Nancy, Nancy. No está Nancy. 
William Giovanni, number three. Sonia, show, show well me some funny picture a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. A number four, Andre. Tell me, teacher. Number four. Teacher, I'm driving, driving to my house. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Sorry. Okay. Hey, Anna Luisa, read number four. Yeah. Yeah. Create a new life of love for all people. Nice. Number five, Marta. Marta. No está Marta. Irma, read number five. Carlos needed to see you a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Number six, Adeline. Adeline. Jexi planning to wait for you as the goal. Wait, 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 wait. Number seven, Maria. Charlotte commented that feel so frustrated at work. Number eight, Carla Milena. Edward eh, visited Silvia at her apartment yesterday. Mm -hmm. Number nine, Angie. Angie, Angie. Angie. Angie, Angie. Angie, hello. Uno, Angie. Number nine, que me falta. Marta no está, Marta. Early, who said me teacher? Early. Mauricio. <laughs> Maurice, okay, go ahead. They protest about the night price of food. Uh -huh. Okay, they protest there. Nice. Okay, Erling, read the last one. The last one. Yeah. Like ideas adopted by our general manager. Excellent, very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, any questions here? This is a review of last class, right? A ver. Can you tell me the past of these words? I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to think and complete. Mm -hmm. Two minutes for you to think and then you check.
-hmm. Are you ready? Ok, a ver, begin, 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 break, break, rock, bring, bring, Bring broad, broad, bring broad. Buy, buy, both. Exactly, both. Build, built, build, built. Choose, choose, choose. <clears throat> cook, cook, cooked. Mm -hmm. This is regular, right? Cook, cook. Uh, swim, swan, swan. Study, study, study. study. Do deal speak spark spark make made made dance 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 danced. Great. Road. 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 Great right road. Read. Red. Road. Read. 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 You write it the same, but you pronounce differently. Move. Move. Mm -hmm. Move. This is regular. Two. Move. Move. Sing. Run. Sunk. Uh -huh. Sunk. Sing. Sunk. Tell? Tall. 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 Sell? Stall. Sold. Eat? At. Eat. Eat, eat. Go? Go. Gwen. Go. Gwen. Drink. Drink. Mm -hmm. 
Drive Drive Any questions here? Hmm? Any questions? Okay. <clears throat> no questions. No questions. No. Okay. Now I have I have a, a a conversation for you, but before let's talk about financial statement. What's a financial statement? Financial statements are written records that convey the business activities and the financial performance of the company. So you have here business activities and the financial performance of the company. So that means that if the company earns or spends a money, it is registered there in the financial statement, right? Whatever uh, the company does, if they buy something, if they sell something, if they spend some money, it will be here in the financial statement because it's a record, right? It's a record that the companies had about all their business activities and about the finance of the company, right? Okay, that's for you to get familiarized with the topic, right? Because we're going to be talking about accounting in this unit. Now, let's see the conversation. Um, here, uh, you have a conversation getting a bank account. Okay, let's repeat. Let, you can repeat after me. Good morning. How are you today? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Great, Good morning. thanks. Great. Great, thanks. Great, thanks. How can I help you? How can I help you? I'd like to open a bank account, please. Yes, I'd like to open a bank account, please. What time would you like to open? A checking account, please. A checking a account, checking account, account please. please. Would you also like to open a savings account? Would you all like to open a savings account? Mm, that would be fine, thanks. That would be fine, thanks. Would you? What? That would be fine, thanks. That, that would be fine, thanks. In order to open these accounts, you need to deposit a minimum of $50. In order to, In order to, to open, to open the these account, accounts, you need to deposit a minimum of $50. I'll deposit $300. I'll, I'll deposit $300. I'll set up your accounts for you right now. I'll, I'll set up your accounts for you right now. Make sure you put 150 in each account, please. Make sure you point all these details in please. Okay, one more time. Good morning. How are you today? Good morning. Great. How are you today? A great thing. Great, great thanks. thanks. How can I help you? How can I help you? you? Okay. I'd like to open a bank account, please. I'd like to open a bank account, please. What kind would you like to open? What kind would you like to what open? Would you like to open? A checking account, please. A checking account, a checking account, account please. Would you also like to open a savings account? Would you also like to open, to open a, a savings account? That would be fine, thanks. That would be, that fine. Will be fine, thanks. 
in order to open these accounts, you need to deposit a minimum of $50. In, in order, order to, to open, open these accounts, account, you, you need, need to deposit to a minimum of $50. Of $50. I'll deposit $300. I'll, I'll deposit, deposit $300. $300. I'll set up your accounts for you right now. I'll, I'll set up, up your account for you right, right now. now. Make sure to deposit 150 in each account, please. Make, Make sure, sure you put 150 in each account, please. Okay, hey, nice, nice. I need two volunteers. One to be the bank teller and the other one to be the customer. Who will be my volunteers? I would like to participate. Okay. Do you want to be the bank teller or the customer? Um, the bank teller. Okay. Now Good. I need customer. a customer. Customer. Good. Customer. I'm here. Okay, Mauricio, go ahead. Yeah. <clears throat> In okay. Ireland. Okay. Good morning. How are you today? Right. Thanks. How can I help you? I would like to open a bank account, so please. What kind would you like to open? A checking account, so please. Would you also like to open a saving account? That will be fine, thanks. Uh, in order to open this account, you need to deposit a minimum of $50. Yeah, I deposit Three, I'll set up your accounts for you right now. Make sure you put in one hundred fifty dollars. Okay, thank you. One hundred fifty dollars in each account. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I need two more volunteers. Two more. Two more. Will be my next two volunteers. Yes, Andre. Who wants to be the next one? Andre, bank teller, and I need a customer. Who wants to be the customer? Mm -hmm. Uh, good morning. How are you today? Great, thanks. How can I help you? I'd like to open a bank account, please. What kind would you like to open? A checking account, please. Would you also like to open a savings account? That would be fine, thanks. In order to open these accounts, you need to deposit a min minimum of $50. I'll deposit $300. Instead of your accounts uh, for you right now. Make sure you put $150 in each account, please. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you, Andre. Thank you. Now, I have... A couple of questions for you. Tell me. Is saving money important? Is saving money important? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Why? Um, Why is it important? For the future. For the, the future, future, right? Yeah, for the future. That's important. What's the excuse people make for not saving money? Mm -hmm. What takes, what's the excuse people make for not saving money? Como sería teacher no alcanza el dinero? 
Ah, yeah. money. You short of money. You short of money. You short of money. Okay. Uh huh. Um. Why is it necessary to be a good administrator? Mm -hmm. Why is it necessary to be a good administrator? Because when sometimes we have some emergence, emergence for, uh, for example, for my mom or my child, uh, I can take money. I can no ask to another people can borrow me. Uh huh. Exactly. Exactly. For emergencies, right? Any type of emergency where the car is broken, somebody at sea. Well, somebody's selling something and you can take a bath. We can buy it. <laughs> yeah, why not? Okay. Um, what happens if you fall into debt? That means if you owe money to somebody, what happens? Mm -hmm. What happens if you fall into debt with a credit card, with a with a loan, with any way? Mm -hmm. Sí, sí, sí. What happens if you fall into debt? Chair. Mm -hmm. Repeat one more time the question, please. What happens if you fall into debt? Si cae en deuda, ¿qué pasa? We need to have to uh, a plan for payment. You need to what? You, we need to have a plan for payment. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, that's very, very important. Okay. Now, check here. We have another conversation for you. Let's read it. Good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon. Another How are you? Chilling, right? Good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. I'm fine, thanks. What can I do for you? What can, what I, can do I do for you? for you? I'd like to make a deposit, please. I'd, I'd like, like to make a deposit, a please. deposit please. Cash or check? Cash, cash, cash or check. check? Cash, please. Cash, please. How much would you like to deposit? How much would How you, much like, would to you like to deposit? I need to deposit $300. I need to deposit $300. What account would you like to deposit it into? What account would you like to deposit it into? My checking account, please. My checking account, please. Do you need anything else? Do you need anything, Do you need else? anything else? No, that's all, thanks. No, that's all, thanks. That's all, thanks. Okay, one more time. Good afternoon. How are you? 
Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. I'm, I'm fine. fine. I'm thanks. fine, thanks. What can I do for you? What can you I do for you? What can I do for you? I'd like to make a deposit, please. I'd like, I'd like to I'd make a deposit, deposit please. please. Cash, please. Cash or check? Cash, 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 cash or, or check. check. Cash, please. Cash, cash, cash please. please. How much would you like to deposit? How much, How much would you like, like to deposit? deposit? I need to deposit $300. I need to I deposit three hundred dollars. What account would you like to deposit it into? What account would you like to deposit, to deposit it into? My checking account, please. My checking, My checking, checking account, account, please. Do you need anything else? Do you, Do you need, need anything, anything else? else? <laughs> no, that's all. Thanks. No, 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 no that's, that's all. Thanks. 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 Okay, any questions here? You remember the first conversation was for you to open the bank account. This second one is for you to deposit to the account. Yeah? Okay, now we are going to practice the conversation before we go to this part. So I'm going to share I'm going to share the conversations in the chat. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to deposit the conversations there. So you go practice. I'm going to share it in the, in the WhatsApp room, in the WhatsApp <laughs> group. And then you go practice the two conversations. First, practice one, change roles, and then go for the next one, right? No questions? No? Okay. Andre, do you have a question? Mm, teacher. Yeah. Las preguntas. The questions. The questions. Yeah. Yeah, we have the questions here. Is it important to save money? And then you tell me if you think yes or no. Practice the conversations, right? That's the most important thing. Let you go over and practice the conversations. Um, we're making groups of three, four, okay? Groups of three, four. But sometimes, even when I send you in, in big groups, there are people that are uh, oyentes, right? So if you see that you are the only person talking in your group, call me and I will move. All right, there you go. Join. Join, join. I have two groups of four. Two groups of four. Uh, two groups of three. Thanks. Erling, Oscar, Nancy, Angie. Angie está de oyente hoy. 
Me conecté tarde porque estaba en una reunión, teacher. Ah, vaya, Oscar. But good that you're here now. Thanks. Okay. You, can, you can join the groups. Aunque no hablen, por lo menos están escuchando. Oye, para que no se me queden. Okay. Vayan. Okay. 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 Los voy a mover a otro grupo para que les aparezca y se puedan unir. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Good. Um, good afternoon. How are you? I am fine, thanks. What can I do for you? Can I would like to make a deposit, please. Cash or checks? Cash, please. How much would you like to dip, deposit? Deposit. I need to deposit $300. What a contact. Mm -hmm. Would you like to deposit it into? My checking account, please. Do you need you do you need anything else? No, thanks. Oh, thanks. That's all. Sorry. No, that's all. Thanks. <laughs> okay. No sé si gusta voy al revés y después okay. comenzamos a, okay. a contestarlas. Yeah. Okay. Good okay. afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? Ah, perdón. I like to make a deposit, please. Cash or check? Cash, please. The tax preparation. Uh -huh, in purse, in the other the tax preparation accounts. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Ya yeah, listo, ya lo encontré. Que inicien dos y luego los otros dos. Okay. ¿Alguien quiere iniciar? Sí, yo. No hay problema. Yo. Okay, dale, entonces inicie. Okay, good morning. How are you today? Great, thanks. How can I help you? Uh, I, I would like to open a bank account, please. What kind would you like to open? A checking account, please. Would you also like to open a saving account? That would be fine, thanks. Uh, in order to open these accounts, you need to deposit a minimum of $50. I will, I will deposit uh, $300. I will set up your accounts for you right now. Make sure you put a $150 in each account, please. Okay, 
Good afternoon. How are you? Tiene la otra para que la digamos después que sigan practicando los otros dos. Sí, no, la, la, hagan las dos de una vez, las dos conversaciones. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good afternoon. How are you? I am fine, thanks. What can I do for you? I would like to make a deposit, please. Cash or check? Cash, please. How much would you like to deposit? I need to deposit three hundred dollars. Um, what account would you like to deposit into? My checking account, please. Do you do you need anything else? No, that's all. Thanks. Okay. Sí, entonces. Eh. Hola. Hello, hello, teacher. Hola. Hola, buenas noches. Sí, oh, buenas. Estamos preparando la conversación. Ah, ok. Tengo mala señal, malísima. Ok, ¿quién quisiera participar entonces? Solo te leerlo. Eh, Mauricio. Exacto, exacto. Así es, solo de leerlo por el momento. Ah, va. No sé con no sé, quién más quiera participar. ¿Quién le falta? Yo por el momento estoy todavía. Eh, disculpa. Ah. Oh, si gusta, entonces participamos nosotros. O, ah, va, démosle. O bien. alguien más, no me importa ahí, no sé si viene Luisa o alguien. Si gusta una con usted, Mauricio, y okay. la otra, porque son dos. Ya, ya, ya. Go ahead. Good morning. How are you today? Uh, good morning. How are you today? Uh, great. Thanks. How can I help you? I'd like to open a bank account, please. What can goal you like to open? A checking account, please. Would you also like to open a swing account? That won't be fine, thanks. In order to open the console, you need to deposit a menu of $15. Fill the deposits? ¿Cómo se dice? 300. 300. 300. 300. 300. 300. Ah, okay. El deposit $300. Is it your account for you ring No. Make sure you pan. $150, ¿cómo es? Soy mala por los números. $150. In each account, please. Cambiamos. Go ahead. Okay. Good morning. How are you today? Right. Thanks. How can I help you? I'd like to open a bank account, you please. What did would you like to open? A checking account, please. Would you also like to open a savings account? That will despise thanks. In order to open this is account, you, 
Mean you of Entonces, <coughs> la conversation. Sería esta. Ajá. Correcto. Va, empieza la dama. <ríe> Carlita. <ríe> la puede acercar un poquito más. Ahorita, ahorita, espérenme. Por favor, es que no, no se me acerca. Ahorita que yo la hago más cerca. Ahí está. Ahí, gracias. Sí, ¿verdad? Ah, sí. Pero se ahí. me ocultan una, esperen. Te va a salir de la pata. Bye. <risa> <risa> ok, yo soy el bank teller. Ok. Good morning, how are you today? So, uh, so popular. Great, thanks. How can I help you? I'd like to open a bank account, please. What kind would you like to open? A checking account, please. Would you like, no, perdón. Would you also like to open a savings account? That will be fine, thanks. In order to open this account, you need to deposit a minimum of $50. I deposited three hundred dollars. I'll set up your accounts for you right now. Make sure you point one fifteen dollar in each account, please. Okay. Ahora, Erling, you say or no say? <laughs> no, dele, dele, ustedes, dele. Okay. Empiezo yo entonces. Uh -huh. Good morning. How are you today? Great, thanks. How can I help you? I'd like to open a bank, a bank account, please. What kind would you like to open? A checking account, please. Would you also like to open a saving account? That would be fine, thanks. In order to open thems accounts, you need to deposit it a minimum of $50? I'll deposit $300, $300. I say you account for you right now. Make sure you put a... Uh, uy, se me olvida, ¿cómo se dice? $100, one, $115. $150, ¿verdad? $150. Make well, sure you put $150 in each account, please. Okay. Now we're ready to go. Let's go. Okay. Coming, coming. Okay. Now, check. We're talking about accounting vocabulary, right? Now, look at this. Look at the vocabulary we have here. We have cash flow, income statements, equity statement, and balance sheet. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to go check the meaning in the dictionary if you want, and then match with the corresponding definition. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Number one, balance sheet. ¿Cómo es, teacher? La, la de balance, balance sheet. Balance sheet, yes. Balance sheet. 
Financial Which report one? on the charges in rating and earning of a company during the state period. Okay. You can find it in your manual, page 39, okay? Page 39. Okay, um, reports on the changes in routine, uh, reports on the changes in routine earnings of a company during the stated period. Is letter C. Letter C. C, es cierto, me equivoqué, teacher. Equity statement, okay? Reports on reports a company's assets, liabilities, and owner's quality at a given point in time. Is the D. Hmm? Is there D. a D? The outdoor. Yes. Reports on a company's incoming and outcoming of cash it's operating, investing, and financing activities. Interby. Reports on a company's incoming and out of cash. Yeah. E. Mm -hmm. hey, perdón, hey. <laughs> yes. It's letter A. The cash flow is like a circle. Money enters, right? When you when you sell the product, money enters. You get that money, you buy new raw material, mm -hmm. you make the product, you of sell course. it again, right? Then you buy more product. Or you you buy more raw material, you waste, right? So you have the outcoming when you buy new raw material, then through all the process of operation, you invest the money, right? Uh, to create the product. And at the end, you sell it again, but that's like a, like a circle. The money is entering and going out. Right, that's a cash flow. Yes. Now, and number four, it summarizes a company's incomes, expenses, and profits over a period of time. Income statements. Mm -hmm. That's another type of statement, right? That's an income income statement. Okay. It's beautiful. Yes. Okay. Beautiful B. Okay. Any questions here? Mm -hmm. Teacher, pero según la tarea 16, la 3 y la 4 están al revés. La 3 y la 4. Veamos pues. Let's let's look at vamos al dictionary. We have a cash flow. I'm going to read the definition from the dictionary. Pero, pero si así están correctos. Yes, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. eh, eh, sí, verdad, ya, ya hemos revisado eso. By check. When you have a cash flow, so well, That's the net balance of cash moving into and out of a business at a specific point of time, it says. That's a cash flow. Mm -hmm. But this one is a summary. And the cash flow, the definition says, the net balance of cash moving into and out of a business as the specific point in time. Ahí nos da specific point in time. What's a cash flow? Check, lástima que no le puedo mostrar el dibujito que me allí. 
Um, so that's how everything works, right? You get the money, you, in, you include the money in the business to buy rent, to pay taxes, to pay the wages or the salaries of all the employees. And then uh, that way you spend the money, but when you're doing that, if the process of working with the money, right? Then you sell the product and get more money and you like that. So check the definition. It says cash flow is the money that is moving in and out of your business each month. Yeah. Uh, some other words here, cash flow is the way money moves in and out of a business from month to month. Customer purchases and payments are cash going in. So that's what I was telling you, right? And business expenses are cash going out. Managing cash flow is important, especially for new businesses and seasonal businesses. For example, when when we talk about seasonal businesses, are those businesses that appear at certain time of the year. For example, when you see at the beginning of the year, the women selling notebooks, right? Selling notebooks, pens, erasers, and all the necessary things for children to go to school. That will be a seasonal business. While those same people in December were selling decorations for Christmas, right? They were selling a Christmas tree, a, the nacimiento, they were selling decorations, all the ornaments that you need for Christmas. So that's the season. So they are moving from season to season. They do get to February. And they start selling roses, they sell hearts, they sell different things that you can give as presents. So they go moving from season to season, right? But that's, you can, uh, cash flow, it's important, especially for new businesses and seasonal businesses, right? That's a seasonal business. You can run a cash flow report to monitor the flow of cash into and out of your business. Okay, y vamos a ver if we find one last. Cash flow is what happens to cash when a customer pays a bill, when your business buys supplies, or when you pay an employee or an independent contractor. Cash moves into your business when you receive a payment and then out again when you pay expenses. ¿Verdad? Otra vez. That's what I was uh, telling you at the beginning. Just in other words. Mm -hmm. According to the definition, reports on a company's incoming and outcoming of cash. It's operating, investing, and financing activities. ¿Verdad? Entonces, that will be cash. Uh, y voy a reportar ahí que vean este, la, la, si lo corrigen y si no, pues si pasa un par de días y no hacen ellos la corrección, ni modo, ya nos ponemos mal en el examen, aunque ustedes saben cuál es la respuesta. And then letter B summarizes a company's income. This is the summary, right? That's why it is a statement. Uh, that summarizes a company's income, expenses, and profits. Vamos a buscar la definición for, for a income statement. Come, right? Vamos. An income statement is one of the three major financial statements that report a company's financial performance over a specific period. What are the other two? If it says that is one of the three, which are the other two? Hmm? Who can tell? Yeah. Carla? Yes, Alan. 
What did you say? Balance sheet. The balance sheet and? And the, in, quiero ver, me confundo. El estado de resultado es el income statement, perdón. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Y el equity es statement que es basically the, the, the general balance that you can get by a check. An income, is, an income statement or profit and loss account is one of the financial statements of a company and shows the company's revenues and expenses during a particular period. It indicates how the revenues are transformed into the net income or net profit. See, that is a income statement. Entonces, sí, en el examen o en la tarea definitivamente está cruzado, ¿verdad? By check. Another definition for the income, income statement. An income statement is a financial statement that shows you the company, the company's income and expenditures. Remember, expenditures es como los gastos, right? It also shows whether a company is making profit or loss. Si está haciendo ganancia o pérdida, right? Yes. For a given period, the income statement, along with balance sheet and cash flow statement, helps you understand the financial health of your business. Acuérdense que el cash flow, ¿qué dijimos que era cash flow? Flujo de Ajá, el flujo, right? El flujo. That happens when the money enters and circulates, we can say, right? Among the company enters, it is invested, you pay the employees, you pay the expenses, you pay the taxes, you pay the bills and everything with the money. You have the outcome and then you produce, right? You use it for the production, you sell the product and you receive money again. And that's the cash flow. But it says that the income statement together with the balance sheet and the cash flow help understand the financial health of your business. What is a financial, uh, what is a balance sheet? Who can tell me? Balance in general. Ese es el que nos presenta todo. How often do you present the balance sheet? How often? Once a month, every three months, every six months, every year. How often? Mm -hmm. ¿Con qué frecuencia se presenta? Uh, every month, sure. Okay, yeah, you have to present it every month, right? Now, who uses the income statement? ¿Quién lo ocupa? Mm -hmm. ¿Quién? ¿Para qué sirve quién lo ocupa? Podría ser the owner of the company, right? The manager or the owner of the company. Because remember that with this information of the income statement, you analyze the standing of the company. And you make decisions. Those decisions that will help you get more profit, right? Más ganancia, and to be far from the loss. So that's the, pur the purpose of the income statement. Any question here? Mm -hmm. No, teacher. Okay. Now, so you see we have the income statement, the balance sheet, and the cash flow statement, right? Okay. Now, checking the exam, and I'm going to report that case also that there is a mistake and it needs to be corrected. Now, look at these questions. Discuss with your partner. We were already mentioning this, 
a couple minutes ago, right? It's not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes a company has. What's your opinion about this? You say, I don't care about the company if it has incomes or outcomes. So I don't care about that. What do you think about that? Check this opinion. It says it's not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes a company has. What do you think? It's important to come out about income. Mm -hmm. Why? Give me reasons. Why? Why is it important? Mm -hmm. Why is it important to know? Uh, the status of the company. Okay, check the second opinion. Last year, a company's owner fired many people. The owner carried such actions to save the company. That's something that happened a lot uh, during the pandemic, right? During the pandemic, a lot of uh, a lot of people lost their jobs because oh they fired some people or oh, the company completely broke. So what do you think? Last year, a company's owner fired many people. The owner carried such actions to save the company. Hmm? What's your opinion about this? Uh-huh. What do you think? What do you think? Last year, last year, a company's owner fired many people. The owner carries such actions to save the company. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Your opinion. Mm -hmm. It is there. It needs to be watched there. I'm not going to be much. Mm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Look at me. As a visitor, it's a, a strategy, strategy to stay alive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pero, ¿cómo que sería? Como, como una buena, una mala acción, pero. Ajá, ajá. Pero if, no sé cómo identificarla. If you think about um, 
like a person thinking about the, the, the people who were fired. It's like, oh, that's so bad, it's so terrible, quite a bad mind. But you are thinking as a businessman, you will say, if there was no other option, right? Okay. Because these were actions to carry the the, the company, so it didn't fail completely, right? So it depends on uh, your point of view. If you're being affected because you were fired, it's like, hmm, I don't like the idea. But if you are the businessman, you will say, well, if it is necessary, if it is necessary, why not doing it, right? Okay, let's see number three. It is mandatory for everybody to check on his or her profits to see how much can be invested or spent. Of course, we're talking about uh, companies, right? It is mandatory. Mandatory means it is an obligation for everybody to check on his or her business or his or her profits to see how much can be invested or spent. Instead of spending a lot crazy, right? You spend just like, let's buy this, let's buy the other. So, what about checking on the business, on the profit, to see how much money you can invest or how much money you can spend? What do you think about that? Is it a good idea? Oh, well, if it is necessary to spend, let's spend it. What do you think? Mm-hmm. What do you think? No opinion about that? Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Yo creo en, bueno, no sé si será por, por costumbre, podrá decir, de, de no a root. De, de, de las compañías que uno no... no no revisan constantemente eso. The profit. Sino que solamente de, de buy, buy, buy. Uh -huh. So it's like normal. We have to invest because we have to produce. Right? And it's like a cycle. Like the cycle we mentioned at the beginning. Okay, let's, let's buy because we have to. But uh -huh, how much profit are you getting? Can you spend money right now, really? Or, or you have to wait? Okay, yeah, so. Okay. It is necessary, but yeah, as you say, sometimes the companies don't even notice. When they come to notice is when they are broken, right? Because they were paying and paying and paying a lot of things without noticing if they were receiving a uh, something back. Okay, nice. No questions? Hmm? No? Okay, well, we will have here a couple of ex exercises. Uh, we're talking about adjectives, right? We're going to be discussing and, and describing things, but I want you to pay attention to the adjectives we use for describing people and the adjectives we use for describing things. See, uh, for describing people, we have happy, smart, <laughs> sorry, intelligent. Bless you. Thank you. Confident, kind, polite, hardworking, good sense of humor, responsible, yeah, is for people. And then 
uh, to describe things on the other side, we have convenient, expensive, durable, cheap, useful, good quality, beautiful, modern, colorful. Okay, so see that the adjectives you use for describing things are totally different from the ones that you use for describing a people, right? We cannot use the same type of adjectives for describing people and, and for describing things. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see how we are going to use these adjectives. Check. In this structure, we're going to be using so and such. We are going to use them and the adjectives that you saw before or any other adjectives, right? That you could think of when describing people or describing things. So you see, you say it is not necessary for the company. It is so necessary. So you see, you, say, you have so and you have the adjective, right? It is so necessary for the company. So in this case, it's like mm, giving emphasis, right? So we, we have here words that will be used to give emphasis to the entity. It is so necessary for the company. It is so important to check the reports, so important. I'm, I'm not saying just it is important to check the reports, it's so important and emphasizing the importance of checking the reports. That projects were so well made, were so well, so can be followed by an adjective. Or an adverb, you see? That's the rule that I can create here. I have so well. Remember that adverbs describe an action, right? In this case, well is um, describing not just the project, but how the project was made, right? Well is describing the action. Our ideas were so imaginative, adjective. Yeah. So remember, we use so plus an adjective or plus another. So, what about such? We're going to use such to describe something to or someone, but check the difference in meaning, no, because the meaning is exactly the same. It doesn't matter if you use so or if you use such. What you have to pay attention to here mostly is the structure, right? The structure that we use. Because you say it is so necessary that it is such a, or you can use an. Remember we use a before consonants and an before vowels, right? So you can perfectly say, it is such a adjective noun. Yeah, such plus adjective noun. Mm -hmm. In this case, when we use so, we have only the adjective. Yeah, but if we are using such, we have an adjective and you have a noun, and I have to use a before the adjective. It is such a creative program. It is such a significant investment. The report was such a useful tool. ¿Por qué digo a? Si estoy usando useful, that is a vowel, because of the sound of you, you. Useful sounds like y, 
right? So it sounds like a consonant. The report was such a useful tool before. The last product was such a big success. Such big success. The last product was such a big success. So remember, um, when we use saw in this case, uh, remember we using it with the purpose of giving emphasis. I'm not using so with the meaning of result. That's another context, right? But right now, what I'm trying to do is to give emphasis to something. So you say, check the same sentence uh, used in different in the two different ways. This book is so interesting that I didn't want to stop reading. It's so interesting. Because when you say only, it is so interesting. Okay, okay. So I want to say something something else, right? This book is so interesting that I didn't want to stop reading. Mm. This is such an interesting book that I didn't want to stop reading. If you see, we're using the same sentence that in one we use in so, in the other we use in such, but the meaning at the end is the same. There is no difference between one and the other. Any question here? Question. Mm -hmm. No question? Mm -hmm. Teacher, yeah. yo quisiera que dijera como eh, una, una diferencia clara, pero en español. Mm -hmm. No hay difference. There is no difference. Ah, ok. There is no difference. It's only the structure. Yeah. There is, it, it's only the structure. There is no difference here. That's why I cannot tell you a difference because there is not a difference. It's it's the same. It's the same for, for both. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you um, a, another example, right? But uh, remember, the structure is the difference, not the meaning, right? Remember what I told you at the beginning. The meaning is the same. What changes, what changes here is the structure. Only. Just the structure. So you cannot think of a, of a difference like, okay, then in this case, this means this and this means the other one. No, because the meaning, the meaning is exactly the same. So it doesn't matter if you use so or if you use such. The only situation is that if you use so, if you use so, eh, you don't use a noun. No pone noun allí, ¿verdad? If you use such, yes, you have to use a noun. Check. This is so necessary for the company. It's so important to check the reports. The projects were so well made. Our ideas were so imaginative. It is such a creative program. Meaning such a adjective noun. It's such a significant investment. The report was such a useful tool. And now check the difference here. This book is so interesting. This is such an interesting book. This child in the picture was so cute. She was such a cute child, ¿verdad? If you want to use such. It was such a cute child that she re reminded of you. 
The man was so strong that he could pull a huge truck. He was such a strong man. Chequen la diferencia. Por ejemplo, si cuando usando eso, decimos the man was so strong. Si yo ocupo such, voy a decir he was such a strong man. ¿Sí? Pero el significado es el mismo. Él era un hombre tan fuerte. Lo mismo está diciendo un ato. ¿Verdad? Ahora, check this one. She was such a crazy lady not that nobody liked her. Si queremos usar so, diríamos that lady was so crazy That lady was so crazy that nobody liked her. He was such a friendly boy that he made friends easily. Or... The boy was so friendly. Es, es, ven, o sea, no, no, hay, no hay diferencia en significado. La única diferencia está en la estructura, ¿verdad? He was such a friendly boy. The boy was so friendly. It was such a happy family. The family was so happy. ¿Ya? Yeah? Any question here? Is that clear for you? Yes, mm -hmm. okay. Right, we have a couple of exercises. You have to decide if you use so or such. So or such. What do you yeah, need yeah. to use? Such. A ver, the first one. It is good to know the cash flow. It is flow. good to know cash flow. It is such important. Are you sure? According to the structure, check it. Remember, so plus an adjective. Is such plus a one. Dependiendo. Después el adjective. Y el noun. ¿Verdad? Esa es básicamente la diferencia. You use so plus an adjective, is such plus a one, an adjective and a noun. Porque la diferencia radica, radica en la estructura, no en el significado. Vaya. I let you think here, complete the sentences, and then we will check together. Number one, so. Aha. It is good to know the cash flow. It is, is so, so important. important. Okay. Important. It is so important. The architect is. Uh, should. So she... The architect is such so a pretty woman. Uh -huh. It's such a creative woman. Wireless internet access is so, so convenient. Yeah. Uh -huh. All the inventions we created are so popular. So popular. 
Who wants to read number five? Read the complete sentence, number five. The computer was such a significant invention. Significant, significant. Huh? What about number six? Who wants to read number six? With oh. the complete sentence. Checking your financial statement was so difficult before. Mm -hmm. Was so difficult. Who wants to read number seven? Number seven. Sure. Read the complete sentence. The director of the company was sure general. Was? The director of the company was sure general. Was so generous. So, porque mm. solo tenemos un adjective, nada más. Right? Remember, so plus a one, the adjective and a noun. So plus an adjective. See? Basha, so the director of the company was so generous. Number eight. Number eight, Nancy. The, the project. project that we have to do are so confusing. Ajá, uh -huh, so confusing, nice. A ver, ¿quién es el otro que quería participar? Read number nine. The report that we need to write is so long. So long, yeah. Mm -hmm. Number ten. It was such a hard day. I am so tired. Yeah. I am so tired. So tired. Number 11. My secretary is. So Ashman, my man. Todo se le olvida, verdad? Felicita. So absent. Okay, and the last one. My boss is. My boss is. Such? Such. Such. Such an angry man. That, that I, am I am. So. So but. straight. Eh? Yeah. Great. Questions? Hmm? No questions? No. No, verdad que no. <laughs> okay, bye. I have more for you here. Let's match. Matching time. Uh -huh. Ya no los mando a los grupos porque ya muy poquito queda. ¿Verdad? Más nos vamos a tardar en irnos que en volver. Okay, so you can do it in the bit one. And then... We check. Se los voy a compartir. Next thing that we did before.
Para ahí se los pegué en el, en el chat. <ríe> Ay, no, que les pegué el otro que no el bueno. I am going to call Atenas while you finish. Abner Adoni. Abner Adoni. Alexa. Present. Ana Luisa. Present. Andre, Angie, presente, Adeli, 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 Uker, ya, ya anda Adeli, sí, verdad, Erling, I'm here, teacher, Erling, Irma, present, teacher. Carla Milen. Present teacher. María. Present teacher. Marta. Marta. Mauricio. Mauricio. Hello teacher. Pedí <ríe> Mauricio. Nancy. Present. Present teacher. <ríe> Oscar, pues sí, ya lo vi. Oscar. Presente, chao. Ok. Silvia. Silvia, Silvita. Silvia. Úrsula. Hello. Ok, Silvia, no está Silvia. Aquí estoy, lo que pasa es que de pronto se me apagó el teléfono y me costó encenderlo. Oh, my God. Me Úrsula. está fallando ya. Yo, oh, ya quiere vacation. Úrsula anda por allí, ya la vi. William. William. Hello, teacher. Hello. Bye. Now we're ready to check. Ya, no ya. Teacher Andrés is here. Ah. Andre, teacher. Es que no te escucho. No lo llame André. Sí dije André. Sí, por ahí lo vi que está. Okay. Right. A ver, eh, number one, the quiz was so confusing. The quiz was so confusing. Match? I think letter K. Number one, little B. That, mm -hmm. I, that I couldn't do it, right? Uh -huh. The quiz was so confusing that I couldn't do it. The work was so difficult Number two, little A. That I couldn't pronounce it. No, uh, okay. That I couldn't pronounce. The man was so tall. Number three. 
that he called touch the ceiling. Yeah, and that he could touch the ceiling. The car was so fast. That it won the race a silly. That it won the race a silly. Mm -hmm. The project was so expensive. That nobody wanted to pay for it. Uh -huh. The pupusas were so delicious. That I eat them. Imagine. <laughs> the pupusas were so delicious that I ate them. The mountain was so far that The mountain was so far that mm. that we call walk that mm -hmm. distance that we couldn't work that distance. The girl was so smart. The girl was so smart. Mm -hmm. That she called to Almost everything. Exactly. It was such a difficult situation. Mm. It was such a difficult situation. that I decided to quit my job. Mm -hmm. They were such lazy people. They were such lazy people. That they split in the office. Ah, okay that they slept in the office, imagine. It was such an interesting game. There, that I played play it on my night. night. Uh -huh. It was such a stressful day. That I got a itch. That I got a headache. They were such demented people. Mm -hmm. They were such demented people that that they jumped from the bridge. Mm -hmm. bridge. That they jumped from the bridge. That was such a crazy moment. That was such a crazy moment. That I thought it was unreal. Uh -huh. That I thought it was unreal. And the last yeah. one. She was such a sweet darling. That everybody loved her. Uh-huh, that everybody loved her. Hmm? Great, great, great.
Any question here? No question, teacher. Nice. Nice, nice. Well. A ver, ¿quién me toca quedarse conmigo hoy? Es día 16. Silvia. Silvia Evelyn. Ok, teacher. Bueno, chicos. It was a pleasure. Have a nice night and see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. See teacher. you. Bye. 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 Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. Bye bye. See you. Good night, teacher. Good night, Good night. Okay. Bye bye. Hi, Sylvia, how are you? I am fine. Great. Do you have any comments, any questions? Mm -hmm. Any questions? ¿De qué se trata esto? Cuando se queda el alumno con el docente. Ah, hace preguntas sobre cualquier tema que tenga. Cualquier duda. Cualquier duda que tenga de cualquier, de cualquier clase. De cualquier... Si tiene duda de la plataforma. Uh -huh. mm. Pues solo en una en una tarea era que me estaba ahí viendo cómo, pero al final sí la pude hacer, pero eran de las pasadas. Ah, ya de ahí no. por lo otro. Este, espero hacerlas mañana porque así no he tenido mucho chance. Las que tenía que entregar hasta el viernes. Ajá, ajá. Este, Esperaría no verlas, no encontrarlas tan difíciles, pero creo que no, porque medio las revisé. Sí, la de hoy es sobre el vocabulary that we were talking about today. Ok, quiero ver si puedo ingresar ahora mismo. A ver. Y para el otro. El otro módulo, este, seguimos con usted. Fíjese que aún no sabemos, no nos han dicho. Mm. ¿A ustedes qué les han dicho? Nada, solo que llenemos los documentos para, para matricular el otro. El otro módulo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ahorita. Este, pero debo suponer que quizás en algunas ocasiones los rotan, ¿verdad? Depende. Y fíjese que, fíjese que sí. De hecho, nos mueven y nos, y nos cambian. Mm. Nos cambian. Así que sí, no, no se sabe por qué. Porque a veces no cambian, a veces nos dejan con el sí. grupo un tiempo. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Pero hay veces que nos, nos mueven y nos, nos ponen. Estoy intentando ingresar desde el celular, pero me parece hasta el avanzado 3. Ajá, es que sí. A veces desde el celular y le piden un montón de cosas. Más difícil, ¿verdad? Sí, es más difícil. Es mejor de la compra. Porque sí, es que... más rápido. Sí, no, y el asunto es que yo también he intentado entrar desde el celular, pero me pide un montón de cosas que termino ahí con que mejor no. <ríe> mejor cuando, cuando tengo la computer disponible, porque sí le pide un montón de cosas para poder accesar. ¿verdad? A menos, a menos que lo haya abierto allí antes y es la que ocupa para trabajar. Porque bueno. es, me imagino yo que sí se puede. Pero, pero es de asegurarse si tú que si va a trabajar allí y dejar la cuenta guardadita. 
Dice que lo que comentaban los chicos in this exercise of today, eh, the definition here says reports on a company's incoming and outcoming of cash. It's operating investment and financing activities. Es está como income statement. But the other one summarizes a company's incomes, expenses, and profits over a period of time. It's also an income statement. Entonces, eh, la, la number two es la que han dejado así como, como volando. According to the definition that we have for income statement, right? That we say the, the, the income statement is summarizes a company's income, expenses, and profits over a period. And the other one, the, the cash flow reports on a company's incoming and outcoming of cash, its operating investment and financing activities. But here, the answer of the number three is the one that 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 is wrong mm -hmm. okay, lo vamos a, lo vamos a, a reportar for you to see eh, what's going on for you to see what's going on y ver qué, qué pasó Okay. This is supposed. It is supposed that I can report, but I don't know. Here, if not, I'm going to. I'm going to. To check, and I'm going to tell them in the in the way that we are supposed. To. Well, in the WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me, do you have any questions over there? Mm -hmm. Pues, sobre las tareas, si tendría que revisarla y tengo que prácticamente re este reproducir esta clase porque eh, como se me apagó el teléfono un buen tiempo hasta por fin me encendió no 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 estuve muy al cien sí. pero por lo anterior creo que en la tres eh, digo ya voy a ver Quince, catorce, trece. La quince tengo empezada nomás. Y la doce. Sí. Ah, pero en esta doce, este, era de pasarlas, escribirla de positivo y pasarlas a negativo. From positive to negative. Ajá. And in the fifteen is the opposite. You have it from negative to positive. In the number 15, it's from negative to positive. And in the Pero, 12, in the 12 it's from positive to negative. Ajá, de positivo a negativo. Yeah. Ajá, intenté dos, porque son los dos justamente tengo aquí. Este, y me salen malas. Sí, it's because of the, I'm going to paste there for you, the, in the chat, se lo voy a poner, el apóstrofe. Ok. Because the thing is that uh, when, when you have uh, something like that here, it doesn't accept the apostrophes of any other computer, only the computer where 
the exercise was worked. That's why it gives problem whenever you have to put the apostrophe. Ahí se lo, se lo puse en el chat de, de, del grupo, del WhatsApp. Ahorita veo. So you see, it didn't, when yes. in some cases you have to use didn't, in others you have to use wasn't, but you can copy the, the, oh. the apostrophe. Porque es así, como un palito recto, ¿verdad? Y sí. si a nosotros nos aparece el palito pandito del otro lado, no se lo hace. Yes. Le da error. Ajá. Sí. Le da error. Entonces, eh, ahí se lo puse para que lo pueda copiar en la apóstrofe y lo pegue, ¿verdad? Donde necesita. No le sí. If no, it gives problem. It doesn't accept it. And, and it puts your answer like wrong, but it's because of the apostrophe. Mm -hmm. Sí. Ok, pues entonces es la pequeña clave. Yeah, that's the key. <laughs> the apostrophe. Okay. In the other one, in the 15, because it's it's in negative and you have to change the positive, so that's no problem. Right, that's the same. Mm -hmm. Ok, y luego la 15, que ya está en negativo, pasar lo positivo. positive. Este, solo intenté hacer una. Me salió mal, entonces yo dije, ah. tengo que reparar esta clase para comprender bien por qué. Es, pues, ¿Por qué se la no sé si es que cambia en sí la forma del verbo. El verbo, you have to put it in past. Um, what is the past of by? Past by, ajá. Uh -huh. Pero yo le puse that chico. computer? Ajá, sí le puse yo. That ah, vaya, pero ahí está, ya, así es como se la dieron, ¿verdad? Se la dieron, she didn't buy that computer. Then you have to uh -huh. change to affirmative and say she bought that computer. Mm, Remember that at the beginning, ajá, at the beginning of today's class, we were making a review of the verbs in past. Ok, porque uh -huh. ahorita tal vez le cae ahí en el chat de, de Zoom. Solo así la puse, entonces está mala. Ah, sí, no. Acuérdese que en Affirmative no usamos Auxiliary. Tiene que quitar uh -huh. Auxiliary y poner el verbo en past. Sí. Uh -huh. She bought that computer. Uh -huh. Ok. Porque el auxiliar se ocupa solamente en negatives and questions. En afirmativo. Okay. En the affirmative, you have to write the verb in past. Allí al, al principio de la clase de hoy hicimos el repaso de los verbos en pasado. Sí, ya lo puse en pasado y está con verde, está bueno. Esa, very good. Sí. O sea que siempre que, que estemos este, pasando una en, en positivo, no llevamos auxiliar. No, en afirmativo no lleva auxiliar. En afir, eh, lleva auxiliar en negative and questions. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Ahorita lo copio. Question. Any other question? No auxiliar en ningún verbo, ¿verdad? Eh, no, en ninguno, en ninguno. Ok. Ahora, está ver. Ahorita creo que no. Solo me tengo que poner a repasar esto y hacer las tareas. Mm -hmm. The only thing you have to do here is put the verb in past, right? 
Any other questions, Sylvia? Bueno, tal vez solo como, no sé, encontrar alguna técnica en la que, por ejemplo, eh, pueda empezar, digamos, a hablar, como estoy hablando ahorita, pero ya no en español, sino que en inglés, de qué forma como poder lograr, por lo menos para lo básico. Uh -huh. Y le entiendo algunas cuestiones, pero ya para responder, pues me quedo como que tengo que decir. Vale, ahí el truco está en empezar a tirarse a hablar. Y aunque le cueste, por ratitos al principio mezclando Spanglish, pero en la medida en que usted se vaya tirando a hablar, él se, se va a ir acostumbrando. ¿Verdad? Y hay uh -huh. que hacer mucho listening. Mucho, mucho listening. Cuando sí. se hace más listening, eso le facilita luego el, el reproducirlo oh. mucho, lo mismo que escucha. Uh -huh. sí. sí, solo sí. música. <risa> Pero voy a ah, poner pues conversación. Sí. En inglés, it's okay. Puede usar, puede, us uh, puede escuchar podcasts, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. puede, puede escuchar diferentes cosas en inglés para que el oído se vaya acostumbrando y en la medida que usted se acostumbre a escuchar, así va a ir reproduciendo también. Ok. Ahí está el truco. <ríe> Entre sí. más usted escuche, más se va a ir acostumbrando el oído y va a empezar a reproducir lo que va escuchando. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Vaya, pues Silvia, la dejo que descanse. And see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.